And we just wait for that charm to go away. There's so much waiting. Which one of these leads? Like, up. I don't think that leads up. I think that goes down. Then again, I think I started... No, I started from here. So we'll take this on the way out. But... We just still just have to wait. There might be a spell that gets rid of it, but I don't know what it is. It's not memorized. It's not going to help me. That was not a fun fight. Just having her teleport around, do her magic, then go somewhere else. Not fun. I've always hated those kinds of enemies. Ever since, uh, I think the first game that I ever played where that happened was Diablo 2. Uh, although Diablo 1 did it as well. I just played Diablo 2 first. Uh, Diablo 1 had it so much worse where it was just spawn, cast a spell, disappear, like, immediately. There was no time for you to really get in there and deal any sort of damage. Like, as soon as he spawned, he cast a spell and then My motored worst out. My hate is reserved for sitting and doing Helm nothing. with Helm's Blessing. I know, Corin, it sucks for everybody, but we're just kind of dealing with that. So yeah, Diablo 1 was probably the worst case that I had of that, but it definitely wasn't the only one. Wait, 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 what's over here? There was stuff over here. Okay, so I think I need to identify again. They wish my ear. Plus, it doesn't look like I actually rested properly. Alright, quick save, rest. Okay. Now it seems to be Bar fine. Hell. Let's reorganize again. We have a lock of hair from Kieran Hale. I don't know why it's unidentified. They just told me what it was. And then a whole bunch of these things, but yeah, you can't identify those just yet. Alright, so lock of hair from Kieran Hale. This lack of hair comes from the head of a succubus, a de demonic creature that seduces men in accompanying her to the abyss. Okay. Quarter staff. Staff spear, spear plus two. When the seemingly ordinary quarter staff is examined magically, it has an aura of alteration. Upon command, a long, sharp spear blade will shoot forth from its upper end, making the staff into a spear, likely made by a wizard or priest hoping to increase their melee abilities. It is usable by anyone capable of handling a staff. So it's a 1d8 plus 3, but Thaco plus 2. So that works out pretty nicely, but it's still, like, not as good as this, right? Yeah, Thaco goes up by 1, even though damage goes up by potentially 2. All right, Cloak. Cloak of Protection plus 1. That probably can just be tossed. All right, let's make some room here. Somebody hold on to it. All right, one, two, three. Electrical resistance, darts of stunning, darts of wounding. So you can take the darks, darts back. You hold on to the stones. Who, el who else has the stones? You do, give them to Saladus. And now you're out of room. I could probably drop the sea charts. Andrus's journal. Uh, I can get rid of that. We've we've dealt with that. Letter. All right, I need to hold on to that one. That's the main quest one. I thought there was one. And then this is Garion's letter, which I'm gonna still hold on to. I don't quite know what's going on with that yet. And then we have a halberd plus one. And some of these can just go. Not worth the, uh, the inventory space. Put magic missile back on. 
Those were seven items I identified right there. All right, rest. Quick save again. My honor is with Helm's blessing. And then head up here. I don't know. We just kind of stand on the stairs. It's hard to say whether that's up or down. Come on, guys. Up. They do struggle with this. Okay, that was down. Yeah. That was down again. With Helm's blessing. Okay, that's up. Yeah. That's up. Um. As you will. How do I go up from here? I think this will lead me down. Yeah, that's down. I've been and here. And steel on steel. With the stuff of legends, dancing. right, Boo? So I'm not seeing a way up. I'm gonna have to look this up. I don't think up is even the way that I necessarily want to go. Um, but yeah, I'm not seeing. I'm not seeing any sort of alternate path here. Unless, like, there's something blessing. over here that'll lead me up in a way that I don't understand yet. Um. This dungeon has a sense of evil about it. I guess we'll head down for now. And see. Yeah! See where it takes me in time. With Helm's blessing. Because I know they were telling me to go further down before. There were several times when they told me to go With Helm's down, blessing. but I don't necessarily see. All right, there's the way down. All right, so we have ghasts here. For the glory of Helm! So all the way up was just a side quest? Entirely yeah. possible. All right, level up for Saladis, finally. What would you have me do? Been waiting on that one for a while. Two, uh, a level two spell, a level four spell, four hit points, and three lore. It is the mage one, after all. All right, so the level two spell that I want to use is... Um, Raven Feeblement? Um, sometimes, maybe? I guess strength. Give yourself strength. And then a level four spell. My first level four spell for him. All right, so fire shield. Uh, minor globe of invulnerability. Uh, monster summoning recruit stone skin. The wizard, no way. Uh, for every two levels of caster, additional skin. So it stops one attack. That adds up. I'll take it. Just hits him, but that's okay, I think. No. Why? I mean, that's some of the hardest stuff I've fought in the game, and you're, you're giving me skeletons to fight. When I rest, my honor it's is crazy. my life. Yeah. I also don't see another way, like down yes. from here. All right. Wherever fate takes me. No. Like we just set a trap off, and you're not detecting it. All right, Bayard, who are you? Uh. Who, who are you? A wanderer, not like a, unlike myself. Best you turn and walk on, friend. This place does not accept visitors with grace. Better you are alive and leaving like me. Uh, who am I, you? But I do not expect to see others here. You should expect to see many more things than you did not expect. <laughs> Ow, don't make me laugh. I have a dart in me gullet doing some nasty things. My name is Bayard, and me friends and I came here just as you did. It looks a rewarding place, but I have decided it is beyond my ability. I will fare better, I am sure. I have a keen eye for traps and the like, and I've fought many a dastardly creature in the past. 
If you live long enough to fight the creatures that call this place home, count yourself lucky. The very walls within will conspire to keep you at bay. Mere traps test only your dexterity. But this place is more than a simple door knocker. Durlag was a sick, sick man. And I tell you that he meant to kill those that enter, not just hinder. Sure, there be traps triggered by wire, step of sound, but there are tests as well. Tests he made to find friend or foe. You'll need more than your agile fingers to escape what comes. Some traps give no second chance. Attention must be paid or death will easily take you. I will do it. Also, you have defeated many a monster to get here. Well, if you have seen another of what lives down here, I would be greatly surprised. There is a creature here unlike any other, a beast that devised sound thought. I have heard of it before, but my party laughed and said I was just afraid. Afraid? Yes, but it's still true. I have heard the tales of fell servants that walk the prime. Am I afraid because I believe? No, I know what is the here. Have you had the pleasure of seeing a demon in knight's clothing? A demon knight that serves the underworld? I care not whether you have killed all the kobolds in Kalimshan. Attacking this beast directly is suicide. It is truly beyond thought. What is he even doing here, I do not know. Durlag was certainly not in league with such a beast, but has made a home here nonetheless. Seem quite certain this place is dangerous. What makes you so sure, and why have you abandoned your friends to it? I've not abandoned my friends. Young they may be, but they are old enough to make up their own minds. I will not babysit anyone who can take up the sword to defend themselves. I say the risk, and if they wish to continue, it is their own fate to decide. Is their own fate they decide. Me, I'd be thinking that it is better to live. This place is death. It is in the air. And it gets in your clothes. My friends, they say, by the gods, what is that stench? And I tell them it is the stink of death, citizens. Yes, yes, yes. All very colorful, but to, what's to fear here? You make claims of traps and hellish monsters, but he is a scared little man running away. Uh, one of your friends, he did not happen to be named Dalton, did, did he? You know the ladder. Did his mother send you to check on him? She is a worrisome little parent, isn't she? Perhaps rightly so. I worried about the boy, too. He does not take much of this seriously. And when he realized what he has been through, it may be a rude awakening, to be sure. He is with my fellows deeper than I wish to go. You may find them if you search, but I think the way they went has been blocked. There be so many passages, it seems. Durlag felt he could afford to collapse a few behind the unwary. This place is not a ruin. It is not open to the ages. This place was designed to keep people out or to kill them. Even the simplest of doors seems locked with ward stones. If you enter here, you had best be prepared to succeed or die. Ah, you've inspired a lecture from me. But your life is yours to do with what you will. I must go. Good luck to you. I do wish you well. All right. Inside Durlax Tower, I met Bayard, a fellow adventurer. One of his companions was Dalton, the lad I came to rescue. Oh, wow. Look at that. Look at that huge update that I got there for Durlag's Tower. I had just begun exploring Durlag's Tower when I met a man by the name of Bayard. He seemed calm, though this place had frightened him and he was apparently choosing to leave. Apparently his party is still within, having decided to go on without him. He wished them well, but would not follow. The traps and tests left by Durlag are beyond his ability, or so he seemed to think. Some are extremely lethal, offering no second chance to a trespasser. This place is meant to hinder, but not to mend not meant to hinder, but to kill. He is also afraid of the creature that has taken up residence here. It is apparently a demon knight, some type of fell servant from the lower plains that is supposedly extremely powerful. Bayard feels that attacking such a creature directly is tantamount to suicide. Perhaps this fear will serve him well, but I must go onward. I shall keep an eye out for these ward stones. That he mentioned as well. They must be keys of a sort. Eh, so I encountered that creature. I'm not sure why he's saying that it's kind of a crazy thing. Like, oh, what is this creature you speak of? Like, we saw it. I tried to kill it and I failed. Alright, detect. Yeah, that's what I thought. Like, there's probably something guarding that side. Anything in here? Okay. Helm, give me strength as you will. Let's see what's over in this direction. Also, it looks like there's a secret wall, wall there. There is a secret wall there. But we'll explore this way to start. Right down goes one. 
Yeah, the other one's right there. What is that? Acid arrow. All right, let's uh, head back and deal with this since I found it. Your bidding. Why? Wherever fate takes me. Why won't you deal with that? Oh, just open it. All right, quick save. By hell, What's on the other will? side of this? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, okay. Fate takes Fine. Me. That's not cool. That might be the only way forward, though. Because it looks like that is pretty much it here. All right. Let's head back and kind of give stuff away. Okay, head back. What do we have in here? My honor. A as ring. You will. We'll see how it goes. But yeah, that is it. So that is the way forward. Let's head through and see what I can find. Yes. Detect traps. Great peril yields great beauty. They're everywhere around here. We follow the righteous path. The path of hell. Staying right on top of it, and it still took him that long. Now let's quick save here. Let's go this way. All right, phase Helm spider. You will. So nothing too bad, and I'll get a lot of experience from that. Just teleports into an awkward spot. Wherever fate takes me. Don't step in any evil, you guys. Life is adventure or nothing. Great peril yields great beauty. And a longbow. That's locked. History of Gondagal, the Lost King. They've shown that to me twice now, and I haven't seen that one before. So I'm starting me? to think all right, all right. that is something I should be paying attention to. So let's go ahead and read that, um, or at least skim it, to see if there's anything interesting about it, or relevant, I should say, to what's going on here. Uh, no, it looks like it's just a, a normal book to me, so we'll leave it behind. By hell! But you show me two of them, I, I assume that there's yes. something relevant in these stories, but luck be a lady. Didn't see anything that stood out to me there. All right, undo that. Okay. Well. Some more stuff to deal with. Potion of Hill Giant Strength. We have Iron Glove and Vulnerability. Monster Summoning 3. Could be nice. Regular Helmet. And that's it. Yeah, there's so much stuff again. Just so much stuff. Okay, so you can summon monster summon well summoning three. Ring of the princes plus one is just a ring of protection plus one, so that goes away. Uh, acid arrows can stack onto you. Bullets plus one can go on you. Those can actually just stack up like that. Leather armor plus one can go away. Anything else to identify? Like it happens so often now that I don't even need to use the spells or anything like that. I just know it by looking at it. All right, we 
organized. What do we have in here for you? And cloud kill, which I think I have seen before. All right, bolts. Not my thing. In there. In there. All right, Corin. Let's move slightly forward. 